Hey guys, it's your friend John here doing another knife review video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rough Rider knife. And if you're wondering where I got this knife, I got it online from eBay. Also, in my last knife review video, I'm fully aware that I made quite a few spelling mistakes that a lot of you guys were more than happy to point out. Well, this time, I made sure not to make any more spelling mistakes, so good luck finding any. And instead of looking for spelling mistakes, just enjoy the video and watch it. This is a knife review video, not a spelling video. Enjoy. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this knife is the unique way it opens and closes. Very similar or almost identical to the way it opens and closed to my last knife review video that I made about the other knife. In my last knife review video, I reviewed a knife called the Flip called Tiu by Baladio. I know I'm mispronouncing that name wrong, but other than mispronouncing the name wrong, these two knives are very similar. Let's take a look. Now, like I said earlier, they both open and close pretty much the same way. If you take a closer look, there are some clear differences, one of them being the size. Now, they both have the same length handle, but the Rough Rider knife does have a slightly smaller blade. So that's one difference. Another difference is right here. These two endpoints right here on the Rough Rider knife are pretty good. So when you're holding it, you have a pretty firm grip on your handle and you don't have to worry about your hand sliding up or sliding down. It gives you a little more firm grip because it stops the hand where it is on the handle. Where the other knife just doesn't have that. It's smooth on both sides. So because it's smooth, it's very easy for your hand to slip forward and hit that blade, which is not good and something you definitely don't want. Another difference is on the back of the Rough Rider knife, you have this belt clip right here, which is pretty good to have. You can put it on your belt, you can put it on your side, very easy to have on you. You can walk around, you can work with it, easy access, which is really good and something you definitely want in a lot of pocket knives. Where the other flip knife, it doesn't, it's very smooth on both sides, which can be a bit of a problem, especially when you're putting it on your belt on your side. It can just fall right off, which makes it very useless when you're trying to have it on your side when you're at work. A benefit that both knives have is because they're both flat and small and thin, you can very easily stick it in your pocket or stick it in your wallet. It fits in very nicely and very comfortable. You don't have to worry about it falling out. It's pretty well in there. It gives a nice comfortable fit and just having it in your wallet makes it very convenient, especially the Rough Rider knife with that belt clip, which makes both knives very convenient just to have on you in your pocket or in your wallet, especially the Rough Rider knife with that belt clip. It just makes things a whole lot better. All right, now that I'm done looking at the Rough Rider knife and comparing it to the other flip knife, I'm gonna rate it using my weapon rating system and see how it holds up going against the other flip knife. When it comes to looks, the other flip knife is a little bit nicer and a little bit cleaner, where the Rough Rider knife has a bit of a rough look to it. But overall, the other flip knife only did better by one point. Now when it comes to practicality, they're basically the same, only the Rough Rider knife did a little bit better because the Rough Rider knife is just a little more practical, especially with that handle. For usability, a little more of a clear difference, but again, not by much. The only thing that really helped the Rough Rider knife is again, the handle and the hand comfort. And weapon versus weapon, again, same thing. The Rough Rider knife is only better by one point. The Rough Rider knife is a pretty decent knife for what it is, but compared to other weapons or other knives, it just doesn't hold up, mainly because of its size and capability. And looking at the overall score for the Rough Rider knife, it got a 59 out of 150, which makes it a 39.33% or just under passable. And comparing all the knives I reviewed before in the past, this Rough Rider knife comes in third place, making it just a little bit better than the other flip knife. So now that I'm done reviewing this knife and looking it over, what are my overall thoughts on it? I have to say, for what it is, it's a pretty good knife just to have. It's small size and flat body makes it very convenient. It's not big and bulky like other knives. You can very easily put in your pocket or on your belt or even in your wallet. So it is definitely a good size knife to have. And I do recommend getting this knife. And if you're not going to get this brand of knife, the Rough Rider knife, and if you're going to get another flip style knife, I recommend getting a knife like this that has a belt clip on the back like this and something to stop your hand from moving forward, whether it be two points or something so you have a more firm grip on the handle. 
So I want to wrap things up by saying thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this video gave you a good idea of what I think of this knife in my opinion. That bell clip right here on the back really does make all the difference so I definitely recommend getting a knife like this with the bell clip. But other than that, Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed before or if you're a new viewer to the channel. Hit notifications so you can be aware every time I upload a new video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this knife and my opinion and how you would rate it. And want to help me get more viewers and possibly more subscribers, please share this video. Thank you. Please be sure to follow me on, on Instagram and on Reddit. But please don't follow me in real life. That would just be a little creepy. Also, check out my community on Reddit. Thank you.